This video will look at the Berlin blockade. After the Second World War, Stalin, leader of Russia, and America, led by Truman, couldn't agree about the future of Germany. There were four key issues. Should Germany be part of the Soviet sphere or the American sphere? Should it have a capitalist or a communist government? Should Germany receive martial aid? Should American troops remain in Germany? As a short-term resolution, Germany was divided into four zones. USA, Britain and France, the West and USSR, the East. It is important here to recognise that Germany's capital, Berlin, was located deep within the Soviet zone and would later be known as the island of capitalism. The capital city, therefore, Berlin, was also divided into the same four regions. Germany and its capital city had become divided into east and west, each with competing ideologies. In 1948, the West, Britain, France and the USA set up a German assembly to create a German constitution, a set of rules setting out how Germany will be run. This new Western-style government was based in Berlin, the capital of Germany, which in turn was based in East Germany. They also set up a new currency which would be used in the West. Stalin, as leader of the USSR, had not been consulted and was not happy as he believed this was a step towards creating a permanently divided Germany for a number of reasons. He didn't want America to have any more influence in Germany. He didn't want American troops to remain in Germany. And the most valuable of Germany's resources were in the West. Stalin wanted to prove a divided Germany did not work. So in June 1948, Stalin set up a military blockade around West Berlin. His plan was to cut off Western Germany from its capital, Berlin, where the new government was based, which you will remember is located in Eastern Germany. His plan was to prevent the new government being able to control its territory in Western Germany. Stalin cut off all road, rail and even canal links, breaking an agreement that had been made to allow the West to access their territory in the capital city of Berlin. Truman responded with the Berlin airlift. Allied planes transported supplies to West Berlin around the clock. America committed 70 large cargo planes and initially airlifted nearly 700 tonnes of food and supplies daily. In a couple of weeks, this increased to 1,000 tonnes. The British also responded in a similar way, which meant that at the height of the airlift in January 1949, over 170,000 tonnes of supplies were provided. The airlift prevented the blockade from succeeding. It had been a propaganda success for America, with Truman's response looking peaceful. And an utter failure for the USSR, who appeared highly aggressive. Stalin ended the blockade in May 1949. In September 1949, West Germany was officially created as a separate state called the Federal Republic of Germany. And one month later, the USSR created a second independent state, East Germany, also known as the German Democratic Republic, or GDR. Soviet troops remained in the DDR and the new country became another Soviet satellite state.